I was asked to draw the Lewis structure for cyclopentane. In cyclopentane, it has the formula of C5H10. But if you're just given C5H10, you can actually draw this in a number of ways. There's a number of isomers, 13 to be exact. These are the different ways you could arrange the carbons and hydrogens into a valid structure. Right here, this is our cyclopentane. Pentane means five, so we have five carbon atoms, and ends in A and E, they're gonna be single bonded. And then cyclo, that means that we'll have a ring. So here's our cyclopentane. Let's draw the Lewis structure. So here's a pentagon. This will help us draw it so it looks kind of reasonable. So we have five carbons in a ring. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. So those are how the carbons are arranged in the Lewis structure for cyclopentane. Let's get rid of this. So we're going to put a pair of electrons between each of these carbon atoms, like this. And before we go any further, let's figure out how many valence electrons we have for this cyclopentane Lewis structure. Carbon on the periodic table, that's in group 14. It has four and we have five carbon atoms. Hydrogen group one, that has one valence electron. We have 10 of those. So 20 plus 10. So we'll have 30 total valence electrons for this cyclopentane Lewis structure. So we've placed these electrons between the atoms to form the single bond since it's a pentane, it's an alkane. But let's replace these with a single line. That's really what we'll see more often in chemistry. So we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 of these valence electrons. We have 20 more. Each carbon is going to be bonded to four things. We have 10 hydrogens, so we have to distribute the hydrogens on the carbons. So we'll just put these like this here. So at this point, we have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hydrogens. They're in a ring. They all have single bonds. And if you count the valence electrons, each one of these lines, this single bond represents two, you'll find we've used all 30 of the valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for cyclopentane. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions real quick, just to help us see what it looks like. So here's our cyclopentane. We have two hydrogens on each one of the carbon. The carbons are black. You can see they're all single bonds. And it's not a perfect pentagon that has to do with the way that the hydrogens all kind of have to line up, push away from each other, find the most stable conformation. But this is cyclopentane, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.